These photos will always bring Amy Rossiter to tears. Because it was a scary time, very scary time, not knowing if I was going to make it. It was 1993, and Amy was just 12 years old. Her face was swelling, she had a fever, and her symptoms were worsening. Doctors eventually diagnosed her with a rare and often deadly brain-eating amoeba. They did tell my parents that they didn't think I would be able to ever walk, talk, or that I was in a possibility to be blind. After several years and several surgeries, Amy made a full recovery and now, nearly 30 years later, has a family of her own. Oh, I feel very fortunate. All those emotions came flooding back this week when she saw Caleb Ziegelbauer's story. He's the 13-year-old boy who's been fighting a brain-eating amoeba for two months. Caleb contracted the parasite while swimming at Port Charlotte Beach. So I know what he's going through. Like, I know he doesn't know what's happening right now and his family either. Caleb and his family flew from Tampa to Chicago Wednesday for specialized treatment. Every finger twitch we see makes us excited for what to come and hopeful. Hopeful that her son will beat the odds. Brain-eating amoebas are extremely rare but almost always fatal. There are 155 cases ever recorded in the U.S. All but four of those were deadly, but not Amy's. That's why I tell them, like, Caleb's family not to give up. Like, he'll make it through. Yeah. It makes me emotional. Through those tears, she has this message for Caleb and his family. Don't give up. Have faith. Keep hope. Yeah, Amy says her case was so rare at the time it's been documented in the New England Journal of Medicine. Doctors say Caleb has already beaten the odds by fighting this parasite for two months. His family says he's making progress, and they're hopeful he can tell his survival story one day. Mark? We are all hoping for that, uh, and this little bit of hope uh, may go a long way. Yeah. Aaron Mesmer, live in our newsroom. Aaron, thanks.